this recipe, we will be using four Fuji apples, half a cup of flour, one tablespoon of cinnamon, and half a cup of brown sugar. A recipe of pie dough, and a quarter cup of butter. First, take your brown sugar, your cinnamon, and your flour and dump it into the bowl. And just give it a light stir. Take your butter and add it to your mixture. Give it a light crumble with your fingers. This is gonna be the filling to our apple dumplings. So we want them nice and rich and buttery and flavorful. Time to wash up. Remember the soap. Pretty good. Peel and core your apples. What I like to do is take the apples and just toss them in the brown sugar mixture. It doesn't matter if they go brown, they're just getting baked up into kind of a browny color anyway, so I don't think it matters. Take your packet of pastry. And you're just gonna roll it out. I've made a full round of pastry, divided it into four, and then packed it in these little packages. One little package will do about two apples. Take your pastry cutter. I like to just divide it down the middle and then square it off. Just take those pieces and set them aside. It's okay if they're not perfect. It's kind of a rustic thing to eat, so. Apple, place an apple in the center. Take some of this mixture, the brown sugar and the butter. Fill the center. Put some around the outside. Pile it on top a little. Mix up a little egg wash. Just one egg yolk and a little bit of milk in here. Take a pastry brush and just brush it.
push the sides of your dumpling. This is just gonna be the glue that's gonna hold the pastry together. There we go, set that down. And what you wanna do is you wanna bring each corner up. Just bring each corner up like that, just a meat at the top. There we go. It's nice, and there's like little, just little pockets on each side. Set that aside. And for your second apple, again, apple in the middle. Fill the hole with your brown sugar butter mixture. So filling it on the outside and a little bit more just resting on top. Take those ends that you cut off and we're going to make some little leaf shapes to decorate the tops. Brush the tops of them with more of your egg wash. And top with some turbinado sugar if you have it. If not, regular sugar is just fine. Just gives it a nice crunch. Now take your dumplings and put them in the oven at 350 degrees until they're golden bubbly. Thank you for watching another episode. Uh, give this recipe a try. It's very homey and um, makes the house smell great. So uh, thanks again for watching and uh, please don't forget to like and subscribe, uh, share and uh, follow me on Facebook and Instagram. Thanks a lot and we'll see you next time. Bye.